Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a hard reset before we're doing this. If you're having issues, in some cases, you might see something like this. I'm going to go into my speed check. I got internet Wi-Fi connected. Okay, right there. If you can do wired connection, that's always best for streaming, but if you have no choice but to do wireless, then do it this way. Let's do a test. And you'll see it do the test and then fail in the network. See, that's way too slow. I got, you know, over 100 megabits. When you see these kind of issues happening, then that's time to uh, do a hard reset on the box. And the way you do that is go to settings, move it all the way down to say where it says backup and reset right there. On the right hand side, do a factory data reset, erases all MBX, and then choose the, uh, the option right there. Reset MBX, and then you want to erase everything. What's going to happen now is the box is going to reset. You're not going to delete anything that you've, uh, you've uh, you, all the data is stored basically on the firmware. So some of the settings like Wi Fi and that kind of stuff has been, uh, has to be re, re inputted, but um, we'll see when it comes up here and I can show you what's happening. So the box is actually being uh, restarted and re erased. So we'll see it come up here in a second. There it goes. Just give it a second. And you're going to see the Android logo. It's erasing all the information. And then uh, we'll let it run and we'll be back once this is complete. Okay, after the reboot, you're going to be presented with the Windows 8 looking menu. Give it about a minute or so. Okay, this uh, hard reset takes a little bit of time. And then you should be presented with a screen. And you're going to just follow the prompts. So the next step is go down to next. Choose English or whatever desired language. Hit next. Check your display position. Make sure everything looks good if you need to. You can move and just choose that guy and hit uh, enter. And then you'll notice here that you can adjust. Make sure you see white bars all the way around. And mine looks pretty good. I can probably adjust it down a little bit more. So if you need to, you can see that. Uh, there we go. There's the white bars. All right, then press enter. If you need to, go the opposite way. You can press that guy right there. And now it starts to expand if you need to. But just make sure it's aligned to your, your TV. And then when you're done, just hit the uh, return button or the back key on your remote. Display position has been set. Do you want to keep the settings? Just choose yes. And then go back down to next. <clears throat> I don't have Ethernet hooked up, I have Wi Fi, so we'll go through the Wi Fi configuration, hit enter. Uh, turn on your Wi-Fi. Make sure that's checked off right there. It's turning it on. It's scanning. Now you can go to right here where it says set up wireless access points. And I'm going to choose my connection here. Enter your password. All right. And... After it's done, just choose connect. Once it says connected, you want to go check your speeds. So hit the back button after it says connected. Mine says authenticating. Saved. Obtaining up IP address. Now it says right. connected. After you're done, it says connected. You want to choose the back button on your control. Uh, so I hit the uh, back button and hit it one more time. All right, down at the bottom, you want to choose next. And then it says setup is complete. Go ahead and choose finish. And you should be taken back to the Windows 8 looking menu. Okay, Perfect. and finally, we're going to repeat the step that we did on our last video, which is 
always, always, when you do a hard reset, go to the software updater. Okay, this is how this box stands different from all the other com competition boxes is that there's a one step updater where the other ones you have to go through several steps. Uh, as an example, Jetstream, uh, you have to go through five different windows to finally get an update. So here, it's a one step button update and you'll get the latest uh, updates on all your re repos um, or add-ons. That's what they call it. So click on download. Let it download. This should be going from 1% again all the way up to 100%. And then you can choose reboot. So we'll, we'll be back when this is completed on the download. All right, guys. So I am done with the update on this. We're going to choose reboot. And it's going to start upgrading. So just let it finish upgrading. The top bar is going to turn yellow or orange. I guess it depends on your screen. Let that thing finish upgrading. And once it's done, I highly recommend you do a high sp uh, uh, speed test to make sure the speed is working. And after that's complete, you want to go to XBMC and you start using the applications. I would give it at least about 10 minutes in XBMC because it's a fresh install and you want to let it upgrade all the repos and all the add-ons, okay? So um, this part right here takes a little bit of time. Again, you want to make sure that you let it complete the upgrading process and the bar at the top should start completing itself and, and turning orange. So um, focus making sure that you have a good amount of bars there at the top right. That means you have a Wi-Fi connection. Again, it's best if you use uh, a wired connection, Ethernet, but you can start seeing the, the left-hand side there starting to upgrade, and there it goes. All right, guys, so I'll, I'll continue here on the next one.